hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today I am here with a flip through and review of this Disney princess fashionista coloring book I randomly ordered it on Amazon because I was already placing an order and this book had been in my cart for and it was $7.99 US and I decided to go ahead and just take a chance on it and get it and buy it blind based on the four pictures on the back and again I just wanted to try it out because it looked really cute on the cover and it's a bit misleading because I thought the images were going to look like this in the book they don't I don't know if this is affiliated with Disney in any capacity but it has their name on it and you know you can take creative and artistic liberties and create characters in your own style so I think that's pretty much what this book is and it has no publishing information on it whatsoever it has this black and white page in the front and it's no publisher it's just thanking you for purchasing and to leave a review on Amazon which I need to do because yeah I want to be helpful sometimes I can't post my pictures on Amazon when I do a review I don't know why but anyway this is the title page or the nameplate page or whatever you want to call it and I believe this is Snow White I used to think this was supposed to be Tiana but I saw the apple so that's Snow White now this is create space paper I'll go ahead and show you how I can verify that information because every time you see that that pretty much means it's create space paper now this paper feels a bit cheaper than the regular create space paper I don't know if that's the thing but it feels a little bit cheaper because it's it's just it just does I don't know and I don't know if my book has some printing errors or if all of them are like that but as you can see it kind of like runs down from the printer or whatever and it's not completely black background it's kind of like grayish so here we have a test color page you have two of these in this book and then my book kind of stuck together right here. I don't know if that's ind indicative of everyone's book, but that's what happened with mine. So, am I zoomed out all the way? I wasn't. So let me readjust everything, make sure that we can see. Okay, so here's Ariel, and I like this one. I don't think anything is too wrong with this one, because some of them look real shady, but you know this pattern shows up again so here we have a landscape of Milan and Elsa I think I don't know I'm not the best with the Disney princesses like I like Disney I'm not a Disney nut or anything but you know they're cool so here is Mulan and I think Elsa and these are like pretty accurate Nikes that are out in the world these are like Air Maxes because I want a pair <laughs> so anyway yeah, that's that picture. So some of these backgrounds um, are kind of simple, and then some of them are really busy. And y'all know me in busy backgrounds. And I did complete a page in here last night, so you will see that here in a moment. So here is Mulan, and I really like this one. And, like, you can do a lot with the background paint and all types of stuff to, you know, spice this up and make this more detailed. Or you can leave it simple if you want. So... I really like this one. That's one I want to do soon. Here is Mo Moana, I think. And so, um, some Disney people are screaming at me like, that's what it is. So, this particular background image is used on her skirt. And she's the only one wearing, like, her actual kind of outfit um, from the cover. So, I really do like this. This is a nice one. I don't know if I'm going to feel like doing these buildings and stuff but we shall see when I get to color it so here is Rapunzel and I love Chanel so this is pretty cool and I, I actually like this background so I think she's wearing like a little dolman shirt so I think this is good if you want to practice skin and if you want to color clothing and hair you know it's really good practice for that type of thing so here we have Belle and it's like a tropical background which does not match with anything I don't think that's going on on this page because all I stare at is this big ass bird right here but you know she has a fashion book and I really like her I don't know if I'm going to deal with this background like it's too much I don't got time for that so here we have Ariel I believe and I like this one I'm not a fan of how this blanket is drawn but I mean you know it's here it's cool <laughs> here is Merida I believe and I really like this one too Jasmine this is one of my favorites with the Chanel and again you can do 
uh, nice things with the background you can detail it more you can leave it simplified and you can use marker and whatnot on here I did I'll get to what I used on the page that I've done but yeah I don't have a problem with create space paper personally I actually like create space paper I'm a weirdo in that regard because I, I like it being toothy I hate smooth paper so and I have put everything and anything on create space paper and I don't have any problems so you just have to be careful you have to be cognizant that it's not a really strong paper but anywho here is Tiana and at first when I flipped through this I was not a fan of like having a double image of the same person on the page because I always go to like an evil twin and a nice twin and I'm like that's not the case or you know maybe in this book it's like a day look evening look I don't know but we have a double look for Tiana. We have a double look for Ariel here. And her swimsuit is Dior. <laughs> I think that's cute. So I kind of like this background. It's like an art deco background. So that's that one. Here we have Vanellope, Veliope, one of them. I don't know, something like that. And yeah. I don't know, she's just on some shopping bags. Because she is tiny, so she could fit on some shopping boxes and make that like a platform that takes pictures. <laughs> so, oops, I bent my page. Uh, that's okay. So, here is the one that I've done. Spoiler for completed pages that I've done in August. You're seeing this early. And so, on this, this picture is Pocahontas, as you can see. And I have some glitter gel pen. I don't know if it's going to catch the light because I didn't turn my desk light on because. I don't know, I, like, I don't like to turn lights on in the daytime because the sun is out, I don't know, but anyway, so you're probably seeing like cast shadows and all types of stuff, but whatever. Anywho, she, there's a glitter gel pen, I was trying to show like, okay, there we go, on her backpack, I have some on her nail polish, and she has some glossy accents like on her buttons on her coat, and these zippers and her jacket, it's probably not catching, but on this picture, I used Black Widow's on her skin and it was a mix of all of my sets of Black Widows and if you want to see the skin I posted it on my Instagram I used a marker alcohol marker base for her jacket and her skirt and then I went over it with Prismacolor and I don't think I used Black Widow I used Black Widows on the jacket but it was um, Prismacolor and Black Widows mix for her clothing I used gouache for the background because it was kind of a cute little pattern background that I was digging in but when it came time for me to actually color it I was like yeah I don't got time for that so I used gouache to just give her like a nice green background I did use alcohol marker base for her jacket and her skirt and as you can see and her hair you'll see that on the back side and like I said I used glitter gel pen glossy accents and stickles so that was my Pocahontas and yeah I think it came out really nice I like how she looks and I gave her faux fur with my Posca because you know my Pocahontas is nature friendly so she wears faux fur so yeah that's this one so sneak peek for my completed pages in August you'll see her again but yeah overall I mean the paper performed pretty much how I know create space paper performs so I wasn't displeased or frustrated or anything because I pretty much know how to work with it so yeah that was the end result of this but you will want to put and I'm super paranoid I always use like five sheets of paper when I'm coloring to put behind my picture whatever whether I'm using marker or not but yeah you want to put something behind when you color I think period it never matters which book just so you don't get indentations and stuff on the next picture so that was a long-winded explanation of that picture. Here is, I believe this is Snow White. And, yeah, I was going to say, like, this isn't drawn very well because the bag doesn't connect right here. And, you know, I don't really care for the background right there, but it's there. <laughs> Here's Ariel. I really like this one. I don't know. I like her earrings and her expression. She just looks so happy with her Chanel bag. This one is an odd one to me simply because I don't know who the hell this is. I don't know who this is supposed to be. And this is drawn so janky. Like, her leg looks crazy. You can fix this with paint, like, when, you know, you cut old marker or however you want to fix it up, you know. But I probably won't color this simply because I just don't like this picture. <laughs> and I don't know who they are. Cause she kind of looks manly. She kind of looks like Regga Ralph if he was a woman. Maybe. 
like that's what's going on I don't know but it's a finally drawn picture <laughs> this one I like and don't like I have my qualms about it because I don't know who this is supposed to be and I don't like her outfit I don't know it just looks odd but they're standing outside somewhere in the middle of the street <laughs> is what's going on in this picture I think this is Pocahontas because of the necklace and the um tattoo and I think this is Snow White but I'm not a hundred percent sure but yeah I really like like maybe this half <laughs> I don't like this person I don't know who that's supposed to be so here we have Snow White and I really like this one this background is too busy for me I don't like it and this background is used again because this is used you um, on another picture if I didn't pass it already but yeah here's that one this one's in the book twice for some reason I don't know why but I don't like her eyes drawn and I think on the other one is worse or it might be a little better I'm not sure but I really wish they were wearing this like she was wearing this jumpsuit and she was wearing that but it's not the case on here so here we have Mulan and I feel like she's in like a fancy theater or something See, I told y'all they were heirs. <laughs> I know sneakers, some. I'm not up on all the current sneakers, but I know Nikes. But, um, yeah, she's in, like, some type of fancy theater and whatnot. I don't know if I'm going to be bothered with this background. I like the, the, the atmosphere, but I don't know. It's just too busy. So, here is Jasmine, and she's, like, in the city. It's a cat, which I'm not a fan of. They should have made him a tiger. Maybe that's why his stripes kind of look like a tiger. Maybe she has a mini tiger as a pet. <laughs> She's rich. She can have one. And so here is Ariel and Jasmine. And I love her shirt. It's so cute. She has her little uh, green tea matcha latte going on. That's what I'm going to make it as. So here is that, that background. So as you can see, that thing. And then it's in which picture? It's right here. I don't know what it is. I still can't tell. I don't know. It's probably just some abstract stuff drawn back there. But I really like how she's on the railing and it's like leaves. Because I thought she was on a surfboard at first. Because I saw the leaves. And you know, she comes from the ocean. So I was like, oh, she's on a surfboard. And I'm like, no, that's just whatever is going on back here. I don't know. But I like Jasmine's glasses and whatnot. So some of them don't look as bad. Okay, so it's this eye. I don't know. I don't like it. It looks weird to me. But other than that, you know, the picture all in all is nice, I think. I mean, you know, you can do things with it. And so the the boxes, I could probably make look like that. Or whatever brand I want, you know. Or, you know, you can do your own thing. You can use washi tape. So you can have a lot of fun with it. I don't know, her, her foot looks funny right here. So, you know, this is definitely not drawn by Disney. I don't know who made it's no type of publishing information on this book, so I don't know, I couldn't tell you. Here is Rapunzel. And I had to triple think because I was like, oh the hair. <laughs> I really like this one. This was one of my favorites too when I saw the book. Here is Jasmine. She was gonna be the one I was gonna do before Pocahontas went out, so one out. So, yeah, she'll be probably next or something. Because I have an idea to do with her sneakers that I recently saw. Some sneakers that I probably will buy. <laughs> and I'm going to color them like those sneakers I saw. Because they're made similarly. So, yeah, I really like this background. I want to do this with glitter gel pen or some type of glitter to do the design. I say that and then when it'll come time to color it, I won't want to do it. And so here is the image from the nameplate page. And I like the things that's on the background, like the shoes and the clutch with the cute little items in it and the denim. But I don't know if I'm going to color this background because, I don't know, I just get lazy with backgrounds. <laughs> Sometimes I want to do them. 90% of the other time I don't want to do it. So here is Snow White. And then that's the end of the book. I have talked long enough. There isn't anything like another page in the back or anything like that. Oh, I'm lying. It's this one. <laughs> And so, yeah, that's the end of the book. So, if you were looking at this on Amazon or you have seen it and you're curious about what's inside, there you go. I hope you enjoyed my flip through and my completed page that I've done review-ish type. And, yeah, overall, 
overall, I'm happy with the purchase. I mean, for $7.99, it's a cute little book to just knock around in. And I'm not disappointed except that one picture with that crazy looking leg. It looks crazy. But, uh, yeah, that's the book. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you all in my next video.